Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a little story time for you guys about the day I almost died overworking myself. So, as most of you know, I started out my college career at Rockland Community College. I went there to continue my basketball career. It wasn't short before I met Professor Repic there and he opened my mind to a bunch of other things and I started dreaming about much more than just basketball. Came to the point where I realized that Georgetown University was the school that I wanted to transfer to. So I knew that I had to work super hard to become a student worthy of Georgetown, in my opinion. What I started doing was, you know, taking on so many different extracurricular activities, you know, working really hard on my assignments, trying to get the highest grades I could possible, not to mention taking as many honors classes as I could at the time. Also, putting one thing into perspective, Rockland Community College uh, was about an hour and a half drive away from where I lived at the time. During rush hour, it could be, it could take me as much as two hours to two and a half hours to get home. My mom, being, you know, the wonderful mother that she is, let me borrow her car to drive to and from school every day. Uh, even when I had, you know, early morning workouts or games on the weekends, anything like that, practice, I had the opportunity to use the car to do that. So that's kind of how, you know, my, my situation was when I was attending Rockland Community College. Commuting, I will put it out there, is no cakewalk. I hate it, absolutely hate it. Will try to never be in that position or situation ever again. But getting back to the story, when I was, you know, working super hard to get into Georgetown, uh, there came a point where I was getting home at ridiculous hours, ridiculous times of the night because I was staying super late, uh, studying, finishing assignments, working on college applications, and just working on any extracurricular projects um, or things that I was doing around the school. I, it came to a point where I was in so many extracurricular activities. It felt like everywhere I turned around, you know, people knew my name or knew something that I was working on um, just in this pursuit of chasing this major goal that I had in the end. So it came to this one day when I ended up leaving the student government office at a really late hour. Uh, and then I went and I believed I was working on like assignments, um, just trying to finish some, some extra work because I was working on all the work for my extracurricular, uh, my extracurricular activities, but then I, you know, I still had to finish all of my assignments for class and such as that. And I don't do well working on my assignments at home. So, you know, I tried my best to do them while I was in school, you know, had the space of the library and different office spaces to work in. So at this point, I end up leaving to be on my way home at, I think it was about one something in the morning. Bad idea, because I now had to drive over an hour to get home. Good thing about this time was that there typically wasn't any traffic. The bad thing was that I was super exhausted and I don't recommend anyone drive exhausted anytime ever, because what happened next was one of the scariest experiences of my life. I was driving on the Garden State Parkway and I was feeling really tired, and then out of nowhere, I heard a loud bang. I didn't know what happened. Apparently, I had dozed off while behind the wheel. Thankfully, there were no cars around me, in front of me, behind me, or anything like that, and I wasn't flooring it when I went to sleep, which is also a good thing. I don't know what happened. I just know that I merged into the partition uh, that separates the two sides of traffic and I heard a loud bang immediately jolted up was you know discombobulated didn't know where I was kind of looked around saw that I was behind the wheel uh, just terrified and you know I pulled to the side you know checked out the damage on the car thankfully it was you know some some body damage you know some scratches around but nothing was damaged too bad you know I drove home told my mom and I saw the tears welling up in her eyes. That was a wake up call for me. Now, you may be chasing whatever goals and dreams that you have and I 100%
say that you should stay behind them, work as hard as you can, do whatever it takes to get to that point, but nothing is worth your life because at the end of it, you know, you your life is ended, there, there's no more goals to chase or achieve. So always keep that in mind. Just sharing that little tidbit for you guys today. I hope this is helpful or entertaining and I'll see you on the next video.